this is the fourth video that I've done in a while. Uh, but me and the do videos, but just things are coming up, obviously. Um, so this is the H2PO video. You know, this is Fraser's program. Everybody's talking about it at the moment. Obviously, I jumped straight on as soon as it came out. Uh, so I've been doing it for like 170 days now. I wanted to do an update at day 150. I thought that was a while um, and enough to kind of give people good advice on it. But uh, anyway, day 170. That's how far I am into it. Um, so I have a broke down into a couple of categories. So I have a broke down into four categories that I think will help people understand what goes into it. Should you sign up? Is it a right program for you? That type of thing. Um, I've tried maybe five or six different programs. Um, you know, you can pick and choose them as, as there's loads of different programs, especially for CrossFit as well. Uh, between coaches, athletes, there's loads of different things anyway you can choose. So this is a good idea to see if this is the one that you want to do and if it's going to give you any benefit. So the four categories we have it broke down into is first one is structure, so kind of what it's all about. Second one is the time constraints. So how long is it going to take you? Some people don't want to be in the gym all day. Third one is the equipment that you're going to need. And then the fourth one is the coaches help slash the app. So they have an app that they use as well with this. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. So the fourth category, the structure of the program. It took me a while to get my head around it a little bit. Um, Fraser did talk about it in the Zoom calls that he does with anyone that signed up. And then some of the coaches have spoke about it too. As far as I'm aware, it's an eight week cycle. And in that cycle, there's a four week block, if that makes sense. So basically you have eight weeks. In that eight weeks, it's obviously broke down into two four week segments. And that four week segment is broken down into three weeks on and one week off. And the reason I have that, this um, is because the week off, it's not a week off, it's just a deload week, still super heavy, still a lot of weight moving around, it's just less reps. So if it was five by two, your deload week might be three by one. It's still all the 94%, 98%, wherever it might be. Um, not every week, obviously, but when you ramp up and ramp down and all that stuff. So that's the structure as best as I can understand it at the moment. Uh, it works well. So there's already been, this was the start of the fourth squat cycle. So there's a lot of squatting. So if squatting is something that you love like me, then this is definitely the program that you kind of want to be looking at at least. Um, you know, this program is really, really good for very well balanced and very well taught out, which isn't a surprise because it's coming from Matt Frazier, who's obviously the best in the game. Um, so he obviously has a lot of experience, especially with weightlifting and stuff. So that's the structure as best as I can kind of talk about it. It's an eight week cycle. In that cycle, there's four weeks, four weeks, and he has them broken down into the big one is like the 16 weeks. So 16 weeks, 16, 16, 16. So four of them because he only talks about training for 11 months of the year. So, because he obviously takes a month off because he's expected to go to the games, win the games and you know, so on and so forth. Uh, if that's not your goal, this is still a program that I'd recommend. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit in the equipment and stuff. So second one is time constraints. Time constraints, in any of the videos, Fraser says this is about a two hour program. I've, I think I've only hit two hours, maybe one, possibly two days. Every other day of the 170 days that I'm doing it was way over two hours. Uh, I move pretty fast when I'm training as well. I train by myself. I don't really mess around. I'm not on my phone. I have music playing, I get in, warm up, move, and I move on so on and so forth like that. Big reason is just because I get hungry and I don't want to be in here for as long as possible. That said, I do love it. So I spend anywhere from two to four hours, depending on kind of what the day is and stuff like that. So the big kind of time constraint is I would boil it down into what type of athlete you want to be. So if you want to do what I'm doing, compete as hard as possible, really get every inch that you can 
and try your best to compete at a high level, then you have no problem spending as much time in the gym as possible and you want to do as much as possible. You want to do all the accessories, all the extras, all the bonus work, all that kind of stuff. If you're on the flip side, you're just coming in for fitness, health, longevity, get the body feeling good, um, look good naked, all that kind of fun stuff, then you very well might only spend an hour to two hours. Um, little side note on that, there is a HWPO60 program coming out, which is designed specifically just for an hour of work. Well, I'm sure that's online and I'm not promoting it around because I'm not sponsored, but this is just what I'm doing, so I'll let people know. Uh, second thing on the time constraints is the reason I found it took me longer is because I have a crossover symmetry. I spend about 15 minutes doing crossover symmetry, making sure my shoulders feel good, my hips and my knees. It's getting quite cold here in Ireland now at the moment, so it's a little bit chilly in the gym when you come in, so you, you can't really jump into things as fast as probably could in uh, summer. So I spent about 15 minutes doing that combined with the 15 minute warm up. The warm up is usually about 15 minutes as well. It's typically like a three round of a minute on the assault bike, some face pulls, some air squats, and a down up or a burpee or whatever else. It's just to get the body moving, the blood flowing for a workout. So that in itself is about 30 minutes of work. You can probably push it to make it about 20 minutes. Then you have kind of most days, when I write my program down, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then some extra. So there's a lot of different segments. Uh, I will try to insert a picture of a typical day uh, around this point. So between those amount of things to get done in the day, uh, the last session, for instance, I done was front squats, back squats, rowing intervals, then a Metcon, then three pieces of accessories, and then a bonus work. So there's like eight or nine sections that you need to get done. So it does take a while to get through it, but in terms of time constraints, if you have two to three hours, you should be fine. You can get it done in two hours. You're just moving a little bit faster than what I would be comfortable moving, uh, just because I don't want to injure myself. So 13, equipment. This is done on the understanding that you have every piece of equipment at your disposal. You have barbells, an easy bar, an assault bike, all the concept machines, a GHD sit-up, a ploy box, a bench, like all the weights. So if you don't have all of that equipment, I'd maybe reconsider. Uh, there is scaling options for everything. Uh, some people in the program that are talking in the app, they only have, let's say a rower or a concept bike or only one of the machines rather than all four that I do here. Excuse me. So one thing that they keep talking about is you just substitute all the work. It's not as ideal, but you're still getting fitness in. Most part of a machine coming up in the program, it's just to get out of breath, get the legs feeling heavy before you go and do some other things. So it doesn't really matter what it is, unless it's specifically stated that you're doing assault bike intervals. If that comes up, you can't really substitute that with a concept bike. Hope that makes sense. The other part of equipment is, there's some things that I didn't even have. I have uh, quite a lot of equipment now in the gym, and then there'd be, maybe a couple of weeks would go by and everything would be fine, and then something would come up and I'd be like, hmm, okay, I don't have that specific thing. Uh, for instance, I have one heavy dumbbell, it's a 40 kilo dumbbell. It doesn't get broke out very often. And two weeks ago, there was dumbbell snatches with a 45 kilo dumbbell. So obviously I don't have a 45, I had to substitute it for 40 kilo, that was plenty. Uh, so just silly things like that, there will be things that come up in the program that you may not have that specific piece of equipment, but you should be able to find a substitute. And if you can't think of one, you can ask the coaches in the app, and if they can't think of one, there's usually a substitute brought down in the actual app where you're looking at the program. Uh, hopefully that covers it. If anyone has any questions, just drop them down. So number four is your coach's help slash the app integration type of thing. So your coach's help, uh, as far as I'm aware, there's four or five coaches. Um, I don't use the app probably as much as I should because I have my own coach, um, which is, 
obviously good for me, but if you don't have a coach and this is all you're doing, uh, there's plenty of, plenty of coaches to go in there. So I know there's two, maybe three Olympic lifting coaches. Uh, the only one that I actually know is Fernando. His snatch is like 200 kilo, and I don't know what his clean and jerk is. But he's very good. He's got back to me two or three times that I sent the video in just for kind of form checks with squatting and clean and jerks and stuff like that. And very simple things to just say to make sure that you're doing things right. And I got a lot of benefit out of that. Then in the other section of the app with the actual coaches, the kind of just normal coaches, um, I think there's probably three of those. I know Samantha is the main one. Uh, I'll try to link her Insta down below as well if people want to check it out. Um, so I know she's kind of the main person that gets back to people. She's gotten back to me a couple of times as well. And then we have some of the moderators and stuff that run the actual group. Um, so in terms of the coach's help, there's a lot at your disposal. And then there's a section for Zoom questions. So once a month, there's a Zoom call with Fraser. He goes through all of the questions that people have and he gives really good answers and stuff. So a big one for me uh, was he gave some really good tips on a front squat, some really good tips on just other Olympic lifts. And it's all very minute details that you probably already heard, you probably already know, but getting the advice in a slightly different format or some wording it differently, it just clicks with you a little bit better. So personally, I think there's a lot of coaches help and it's very good. So that's the Discord app. That's a separate app than the Hybrid Performance app. That's where you can chat to everybody, see everybody's PRs, see everybody's kind of how they're getting on and have a bit of banter and you know have a bit of fun with people. You can still feel like you're in the gym. Uh, I do quite well training by myself and I don't really need anyone else as such. That said, it's always, always fun to train with someone. So if someone comes over here and trains, I get a lot of benefit out of it and I go out of my way as much as possible to go and train with other people so that I don't just get caught up in my own stuff here. Um, I suppose the last thing that I would probably say about it is if you're on the fence, just sign up for the month. It will really be good. Uh, I signed up purely just because it was Fraser's program and then when I seen the format, my initial thought was, wow, that's a lot of work. But if you want to compete at a high level, you have to be doing a lot of work. It's part and parcel of what it is. So to do this program, it's amazing. I've, I've had so many benefits from it. It's uh, PR'd so many things. I've gained so much confidence. I have a lot more, oh, wait. Yeah, I'd say just confidence really. Uh, going on to machines, going on to tougher workouts, longer workouts. There's some really nasty pieces in this, um, but it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. I've, I've loved it so far. Um, I'm actually injured at the moment. It's not the program's fault. It's just, it's a little mix of kind of a couple of different things, but I'll do a separate video on that. Um, I tore a quad, so less than ideal. Uh, that's how I have some time to make the video. But anyway, uh, I hope that answers people's questions about it. I know when I was looking at the HCPPO program, there's kind of very little released about it. Um, so I thought this would be a good opportunity. Let people know what it is, how it works, what you're going to expect if you do sign up. And uh, yeah, if you sign up, go smash it, break some PRs and have some fun. Cheers.